What's up, y'all? It's Celeste, and today is Saturday, so I am now four days post-op. And I just wanted to make a little video to update. I actually tried to make one yesterday, and I just wasn't really in the right mood for it, I guess. I just I wasn't happy with anything that I did. And as you can tell, I'm still pretty low energy and just kind of like not super chipper or whatever, but uh, I am doing really well with my recovery, and um, I am still in decent amount of pain and discomfort, but I was able to stop taking the Percocet after about a day and a half. So the last time I took it was Thursday morning at 3 a.m. And since then I've just been taking Tylenol. So I still have some pain, but the amount of pain that I have now is not really any more than it was when I was taking the Percocet. Um, I still had pain even with that. And every once in a while I'll get kind of like a shooting pain over in this area. Haven't really had it so much on the side, it's mostly been just over here. Um, it'll just be like this sort of twinge of pain over here that lasts for like a second or two. Um, it's usually in the same kind of area, so I don't know, but uh, every once in a while I will get like a little pain elsewhere, like in the middle or on the sides or something like that. Usually if I'm like moving a certain way, but most of the time it's pretty manageable. And um, I have had some discomfort from bandage like that's probably the main thing that feels really uncomfortable for me right now as you can tell I'm kind of getting out of breath really quickly um, <clears throat> and uh, so it's just kind of really constricting and uh, it's kind of weird because I don't know I was like thinking about this because you're not supposed to use ace bandages to bind and you're also not supposed to bind for too long at a time but I'm having to keep this ace bandage on for like an entire week. So I don't know, it seems like it wouldn't be that healthy for me, but I mean, obviously they know what they're doing. It just seems like, I mean, everything that I've heard about why you shouldn't bind with an ace bandage and why you shouldn't bind for too long is that it's too constricting and it like constricts your ribs and everything, which that's definitely what it feels like it's doing. But um, anyway, I'm really looking forward to getting this off on Monday. So thankfully only a couple of days left, but um, Let's see, I have had a little bit of itching, um, mostly along the top here and then along the bottom edge here, which is like where the medical tape is, so that's really what's itching me. Um, I haven't had it really anywhere in the middle too much, which is good because that's a lot harder to deal with, but I have been taking um, Benadryl and Claritin. I took Benadryl at night, but I didn't really want to take it during the day because I didn't want to get sleepy. So that's why I took Claritin, but I took Benadryl last night and it didn't seem to really help me sleep. So maybe it doesn't matter a whole lot for me, but um, I also had some constipation, which I think was from the Percocet because once I stopped taking that, um, it sort of cleared up between stopping taking that and taking the stool softener all along. So that mostly cleared up yesterday, which was Friday. I haven't had a whole lot of drainage. Um, you're supposed to empty these when they get half full, but mine have never even been a quarter full. And the nurse told my mom that in the first 24 hours, they might need to be emptied like five or six times. And we only emptied it like three times, I think in the first 24 hours. And since then we've only been doing it twice a day. And now we're down to like once a day because they're just so little fluid. Um, so I guess I just don't have very much drainage compared to some people, but that's fine. Um, but I'm definitely ready to get these out. They're very annoying. I'll take this off and show you just kind of generally how I'm looking at this point. I'm probably going to need help getting that back on, but um, obviously looking very flat here, which I'm very, very happy about. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is like once the swelling goes down, and once I don't have all this bandage on and everything like that, but like already, I'm already so happy with how I look from the side. And uh, don't really have a whole lot of swelling here, like maybe a little bit here, but it's not super bad. And I don't really have any bruising or really discoloration or anything. Like I don't have any visible fluid or anything like that. It's all just in here. So um, everything is pretty well contained here. I also have this kind of belly thing here, which is just kind of like, I'm just kind of bloated in general and stuff. So I just kind of feel like this general kind of like over full feeling, I guess, but I don't know, just kind of like my whole torso, it just kind of feels a little bit tight and 
constrained and just uncomfortable, but it's not really like an acute pain most of the time. And it's not really like, I don't know, it's more of discomfort than pain really. So yeah, but definitely is harder to sleep. The first night was the easiest to sleep. And I don't know if that was just because of all the drugs that I was on or if it was because I hadn't gotten really stiff yet at that point. But now, um, like the last couple of nights, it's been a lot harder for me to get comfortable and stay comfortable. Like my, I wake up, my back and my neck hurt from being in the same position all night. I'm also a little bit bummed today because it's Pride in Orlando, which I'm obviously not going to. And um, I already, like I knew that one at the time that I made my surgery date and everything like that, but it's still kind of just like, I don't know, I just feel kind of bummed out not being there. And especially like I'm even more bummed because I just found out that Chase Ross is in Orlando and I would love to meet him. But I guess I'll have to wait till another time because I'm obviously not there. Um, but I only have two days left until I get my bandages off and my drains out. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. And then I will be home the next day. So after that, I'm just going to be having to figure out the rest of my recovery at home and try and deal with everything, um, like having new routines and stuff like that. So I think that was pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I think I'm going to make another video later that's talking more about some of the, like, I don't know, like day-to-day -day stuff or like things that you have to do during recovery and like just how I've been dealing with those things like eating and sleeping and like entertainment and stuff like that. Um, but this was just like sort of a general physical update of how I've been doing. So if you have any questions, of course, you can always leave them in the comments or message me, etc. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my future content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.